I stepped in a bloody human poop. It wasn't mine. Ah, Eastern Europe. You truly are full of surprises. From one of the weirdest five-star tourist attractions to vampires and running from the officials. All of this as we continue on journey towards Asia. Hello friends. If you've been on the channel before, you probably know that our Eastern Europe journey had quite a rough start. We barely escaped the worst gypsy ghetto in Europe and saw the real Eastern Europe outside the tourist centers. But don't worry. If you're here for the first time, you're just as welcome. We have a seat made for you in front of our van. So buckle up and let's hit the road. Our journey continues in Hungary. Both me and Lizu had been to this country before. Our high school graduation trip eight years ago was to Hungary. And we knew exactly what we were after. Langos, greasy sour cream covered flatbread that reeks of garlic and cheese. It's quite funny to visit the country for just one dish. But well, that was our plan. Oh, yet little did we know that Hungary itself had planned something totally different for us. After a few hours of driving between dried up fields of corn and sunflower, yep, the drought in this part of Europe has been quite rough this year. We finally made it to a place that was supposed to be the highlight of our journey. But after a little bit of help from Google Lens, no luck. The only thing that was missing on the menu was the one that we wanted. Langos. Well, we are not quitters. So we carried on and the goal was simple. About one more hour of driving and then it seemed that we had finally hit the jackpot. People were feasting all around us. But then, disaster struck. Turns out that our papers were denied. The money we had kept from the trip eight years ago was no good anymore. Defeat was not an option. We were too close to give up now. And after some Googling, we had a lead. Presumably our expired papers could be still exchanged in a post office. And so we dove deep into Hungarian monetary system. Some way every few years they change their banknotes. And after that you have about three years to swap them over for the new ones. The wait was long. Process. Tense. And the outcome. Really not great. Only one of our four banknotes was actually swapped out. The others were expired more than three years ago. And the post lady said they are not dealing with it. Yet she gave us another lead. Our mission continued. Next stop, the bank. Again, long wait and then finally success. We were rich again. Yet on our way back to the van, another danger emerged. The parking man. Turns out we had parked where, well, it wasn't free. But since the signs were all in Hungarian, we had no clue what they were saying. We decided to make a run for it. We made it just in time before a ticket. <sighs> we made it back to the van before the parking officer could even react. And then we escaped. It was finally time to spend our new found treasure. Lambosh was much bigger and greasier than we remembered. At least it was quite cheap. It took a lot of willpower to finish it all. And I think now I can wait another eight years to have the next one. We spent the rest of our riches in a supermarket. After that, it was time to head for the seventh country on our journey and what was supposed to be the first border check. The border was quick and smooth. And I think we even got few border officers as YouTube followers now. I'm not too sure if they're gonna be happy for what I have to say about Romania. As we entered the country, the atmosphere changed straight away. Romanian houses looked different. Fences, overgrown front yards, and of course, the roofs. They are almost always made of tiles and have those weird spooky attics. Practically, they really don't seem to have a lot of purpose. In case, of course, 
you have a great grandparent who does not like the sunlight and only wakes up few times a decade. Yeah. Vampire legends originate from Romania. And the spooky atmosphere really adds to the stories. Suddenly, the things got even more spookier. We got a text message from the government itself saying that a huge storm is coming our way and it will strike in five minutes. Hail, thunder and something called torrential downpours of rain. It pretty much said, run for your lives and hide. We had no place to hide and hail would have meant destruction for our van, end of our solar panels. So we did the only thing possible, we tried to escape the storm. Locals were running left and right to their houses to take cover. Yet we drove as fast as we could. Somehow we managed to escape the heart of the storm and we were only hit by some extremely heavy rain. That was just lucky. The rain was so strong that we got some of it also in our home. Our van is uh, leaking a little bit. Next day when we woke up, Romania had kind of changed. The weather was much better and we had a chance to see the northern side of the country. It was beautiful, full of magical woods and villages occupying the roadsides. I never knew it before, but, but the Romanians, they're probably the biggest mushroom-loving nation in the world. We saw hundreds of people scanning the forest floor and even the vendors on the side of the road were selling mushrooms, not berries and fruit like we are used to seeing. Another surprising thing about this country was the mere amount of horses in the traffic. They were everywhere. In fact, the last thing we saw before crossing Romanian border once again was a horse. The next three days we spent in one of the least visited countries in Europe. Moldova was just special. It was so different indeed that we decided to make it into a separate video altogether. So be sure to click on the bell button down below so that you would be able to visit the least touristic and poorest country in Europe with us on the next episode. Oh, and by the way, the episode from Moldova will also be the last one from Europe before we enter the 10th country on our journey, Turkey. When we entered Romania again, we had quite an interesting conversation with a border officer. He asked, cigarettes, alcohol? I said, no. He asked, drugs, weapons? Once again, I said, no. Then he shrugged his shoulders and said, then why the hell would you visit Moldova? Yeah, that's kind of the reputation the country has. Once back in Romania, the country had changed a lot. Well, probably the country hadn't changed, but just the western part is totally different from the northern side. It was full of fields and industries. Not the prettiest place to drive through. And it was also extremely hot. Probably about 35 degrees Celsius. I don't usually like sunglasses, but the sun was so bright that they were needed. And since I don't own a pair, I did my best to pull those off. But well, you decide. I honestly think that those ones don't even qualify as unisex. After that, a lot of local drivers overtook us. It's kind of weird when you're driving 75 in a 50 zone, yet the locals are doing at least double the limit. I honestly don't know how do they still have their licenses. Then, a fancy bridge we had to pay for, some more driving between the fields. And the last thing that we did in a country was eating in a local diner. It was truly fun. The lady was so jolly and we spoke through Google Translate. And the food was delicious as well. I had chicken livers and mama liga. A, a local corn borage. And while eating in a restaurant, it also proved 
one of our theories. When we ordered what on the menu was called a sauce, it was pure garlic, like really pureed garlic, which means that the locals, they are afraid of vampires as well. Then we crossed to Bulgaria, the ninth country on our journey and the last one from the Europe section. Our expectations were really not that high. When I last time visited the country two years ago, someone tried to break into our van. What you doing? And the first time I stepped on the soil of this country was straight into a pile of human poop. I stepped in a bloody human poop. It wasn't mine. Well, a bit of behind the scenes, right? The reality of Bulgaria was actually different. Black Sea region of this country was gorgeous. Normal hand. Driving hand. <laughs> Greetings to all the drug drivers out there. Swimming. After days of sweaty driving, it felt amazing. We also had a chance to fill a water tank with some holy water from the monastery. In case one of the Romanian vampires, you know, latched onto our van, because that's happened before. And then finally, we visited a place that had more five-star reviews than Granny's pancakes on a Sunday morning. It was a public shower. The place smelled like rotten eggs. But in a good way, if you know what I mean. It was artesian water from the depths of the earth, full of minerals and about 40 degrees hot. Like a hot spring that is made into a shower. It's funny how in a midday, this place had almost 10 people in a line to use it. And from what we read in the reviews, the evenings are even worse, and sometimes you have to wait more than half an hour to use a public shower. Ah, Eastern Europe, you are full of surprises. And this is where our journey ends for this time. We are currently parked about 100 kilometers away from Turkish border. And our next video from Moldova will be the last one from Europe. After that, Moving on to the 10th country, Turkey. We are truly grateful to be able to share our journey with you, my friends. And we will see you on the next one.